everyone so I'm back again to do another video for you guys and I actually wanted to come with this um, March favorites video I wasn't really thinking of doing a video since I don't really have much favorites I just randomly just use whatever I want to use but I want to show you guys some of my favorite products that I've been using over and over and over and then you guys see me use them on my videos I wanted to go ahead and make a video and talk to you guys about that. First of all, I'm going to go ahead and start with the non-makeup beauty related. And you guys see me make a review on this. And I'm still um, using it. My husband's using it now. And we're really happy with the results. And it's the whitening lightning kit. And I know a lot of people are saying it's so expensive. But if you see, I give you guys a 70% off code. And it's pretty 70 so you guys can go ahead and get 70% off. You guys get like 70% off of what it really costs. So I am putting my whitening lightning as one of my favorites. And the kit comes, like I said on my other video, and I'll put the link on the bottom bar so you guys can go ahead and check out the video. I'm putting my white lightning, whitening lightning as one of my favorite products. I went from an 8 and right now I'm like a two now so I'm almost there and I love whitening I didn't know how good it felt to have white teeth um, so yeah so I put this as my favorites this March now let's go with the beauty products I want to go ahead and start with I wanted to share with you guys and they're dirty because I used them just to do a video and these brushes right here these brushes are from makeup addiction and it's one, two, three, four, five, six. I've been using these brushes on and off on my videos. And let me tell you guys that I am loving these brushes. And I'm going to tell you a little bit of the brush about the brushes. And I'm actually going to read off the paper that comes with them. It tells you information about the brushes. And then it tells you um, what each brush does. So let me tell you. This, is, this one is called the Special Eye Kit. And it's specially designed with the synthetic Teclon bristles, which are extra soft and they are vegan friendly. Vegan friendly, you guys. Not a single hair on an animal was touched nor harmed in making these brushes. So you can rest assured. These brushes are perfect to use for everyone from those makeup beginners to professional makeup artists. So these are not, there were no animals harmed to actually make these brushes and that is a very good thing and I'm really happy with it because these are really great brushes and I'm gonna go ahead and tell you guys which each brush does um, each brush has the name of the company and then it has the name of the brush this one is called the Queen and then the Queen is the ultimate multi-purpose brush that practically does everything it can be used to contour your nose, precise contour of the cheekbones, applying concealer under the eyes to brighten under the eyes, stippling concealer on sunspots and blemishes and other areas of the face, applying a wash of color on the lid. So you can use it for multi everything. I use this to highlight, I use this to conceal, I use this to contour right where I want it because it's a perfectly good size brush to fit where I really want to contour. So it's a really great brush for like multi everything. I usually use this also to like blend everything out when it's cleaned. I clean everything up and just blend everything out. So this is a really good brush. The next one is the shader brush and the shader brush is this one right here and I use this one for concealing and everything and are applying the eyeshadow base so this one says the shader can be used to conceal small areas or hard to reach areas such as around the nose the eyes It's also perfect for applying the primer or base before your eyeshadow it can also be used to define the perimeter of your eyebrows with concealer so it's exactly what I use it for. I use it to, you know, highlight. I use it to clean up my brows. I use it to apply the eye primer. So you guys see me use this in my videos, and I love it. I mean, it's dirty right now because I used it, so excuse the dirtiness. The next one is the liner, and this is the liner right here. It's a really nice angled brush right here, and this is perfect for creating a smooth, an even line with liquid or gel liners. It can also be used as defining the brows with powder or gel. So I use this for my brows and I will be doing an update 
video of my brows since a lot of people have been asking me for it. So we'll talk about that later. But yeah, so this one is really good. You can also use this to create a cut crease, you know. So really good. I'm glad they added an angled brush. The next one is the blender and the blender is this one right here. If you guys can see, this is a really nice kit for beginners, you guys. So if you guys really want to go ahead and check it out, I'm just trying to be a little bit more detailed on my brushes that I'm loving right now. And these are the ones that I'm loving right now. A lot of people keep asking me about other brushes that I just recently ordered. Um, but it t I need to take time for me to try them really good so I can actually review them for you guys and actually say all oh, these are my favorite brushes so right now i'm telling you guys my favorite brushes and the blender is the perfect blending co color in the crease applying the color uh, to the tip sweeping it back and forth all diff diffuse and blending finish it can also be used to apply concealer under the eyes and the fridge of the nose so you can use this to apply you know concealer and to blend it all out so this is a really good brush also because you can use it for a lot of things from there is the what is this the highlighter and this is the highlighter right here it's another like angled fluffy brush and this one is it's preferred to applying your highlight contour um, I mean highlight color on your brow bone and blending the crease it can also be used to precise contour of the nose so it's a perfect size to contour your nose I don't contour my nose maybe I should try contouring my nose and see how that looks I don't know about you guys. What do you guys think? But anyways, um, I use this to actually blend out the crease. When I apply, you know, do the V shape, I like to use this to blend everything out and make it really nice and smooth. And yeah. From there is the detailer. And this is the last one right here. And it's dirty because this one is the one that I use today to clean, um, to highlight, to apply the concealer under my lid and to clean everything out and this one is a perfect to creating any detail work it is great for highlighting your inner tear duct any tear duct area and smudging color into the bottom lash line it can also be used to apply intense color in your crease and define our outer V so really good brush and it looks like this again it's dirty because I just used it to you know conceal and to apply the eye primer on my lower lash line so very good brushes I'll put the link on the bottom bar so you guys can go ahead and find out where I got these um, very good you know it's a very friendly vegan friendly brushes so I mean you know for all of you guys that don't like for animals to be like harmed to make brushes you guys can get these ones the next part the next um beauty product that I've been loving so far is my MAC blush this one right here and it's called peaches oops this one right here and it's called peaches oops it's called peaches and this is the one i've been using in all my videos um i really really love this one it goes with all my looks i just love it you know i can't be without it so this is one of my favorites and it's like a corally, corally, you know, color, orangey color that I apply and I really love it. I use it for my cheekbones. From there, my other one that I've been using a lot, a lot, a lot, that I already finished it, it has no more, is the MAC Mineralized Skin Finish. And I use this to contour and this one is called Give Me Sun. And this is the Give Me Sun one. This one is the one that I use to contour, but as you can tell, I already finished finish this one and I need to give myself another one so yeah so this is added to my favorites too I'll put the names on the bottom bar so you guys can you know go ahead and check them out see if you guys like those too and then from there another Mac product that I wanted to add I have this one and one more uh, I recently bought Swiss chocolate from Mac and this is the one that I'm starting to use a lot lately just to like smoke everything out and it's a very pretty brown color I really like it I think you guys should add this to your kits if you guys have it um, and then my last MAC product this one is the MAC mineralized blush and this one's called solar ray it looks like this and that's what it looks like from the inside I use this to like 
add highlight to my cheekbones if you guys can see this is the one that i'm wearing now and most likely i'll be wearing these in all my videos if you guys haven't noticed this is the one so yeah this one is from whitening lightning and this is my brow bar to go and i like this one um the colors are really perfect for my brows it comes with the wax it comes with the light and then it comes with a little darkish brown color it's not too dark so it makes your eyebrows look really natural and really nice so i really like this one i've been using it lately and then people have been liking how my eyebrows look now lately because they're lighter they're not too dark so yeah you can get 70 percent off discount code with this one too so pretty 70 to get 70 percent off so let's go ahead and keep going from there i'm gonna go with my and I just decided to get the new box because the one that I have, it's in the bathroom. And I'm not going to go get the dirty one just for you guys to see it. But this is my favorite beauty sponge. A lot of people said negative and positive things. And I went ahead and I used, I got it because I liked how it worked on my face. So I got two. I got this one and I got this sponge one. I did not like this one. This one I also got it at Walgreens and I did not like it. Let me tell you guys. This one's made out of latex or something like that. And to me, it didn't work. So I don't use this one. I just have it here because I wanted to do a video for you guys. And I'll be doing a review on these two together and how to use them and how they work. Um, I did not like them at all, you guys. It was horrible. But this one is non-latex. And this is the London Soho New York. And this one is the Soho Beauty Sponge Makes It Easy to Create a Flawless fresh face look is unique shape allows you to precisely apply and perfectly blend makeup in the hard to reach contour the eyes and nose and mouth so i really like this one i mean a lot of people said that it didn't work for them but for me it's the best so now to apply my foundation i'm actually using this every time i apply my foundation or anything like that so this one's like my top my all-time favorite so i know this one's going to be on my april favorites too so yeah so if you guys want to go ahead and get one you guys either can get one at ebay i believe this is where i got mine i got like four on ebay for like 16 bucks and i believe they sell these at walgreens walmart whatever you guys can get them for like four dollars each so yeah from there i'm gonna move on and i am going to talk about my nyx hd photogenic concealer um i love this one i recently went to mac to try to get that pro longwear concealer um, that everybody's been talking about and when I went there they didn't have my color it was sold out and so they gave me this other concealer that it kind of looked let me well it kind of looked like a uh, lip gloss that's what it looked like to me so I was like fine I'll just try that I thought that was what they were giving me so I went at home and I played with it and I was like I don't like how it looks so I got this one this one was four dollars and fifty cents the other one was like eighteen dollars so i went ahead and i swatched both of them on my hand and they were both the same color they were the, both the same coverage they felt the same way so i went back to the mac and i told them you know what i don't want this one i want the pro longwear the one that's more you know the better one and the girl was like oh well why don't you want the one that i already gave you I'm like because um it's the same thing as the four dollar one that i got why would i want to spend another what would I want to spend $18 on something that I have similar to for $450? So I'd just rather keep the $450 one and give back, get back my $18. So she really got mad about that. I mean, she thought that she was talking to somebody that doesn't know about makeup. You know, come on now. So I really like this concealer. It really conceals. It really highlights. I use it as a concealer, as a highlight. And I really like it. I use it under my eyes and everything. This is the other one that I'm using also that I really like. This is the Revlon Age Defining, and I am in color 02 Light Medium. And for the NYX, I'm using beige. So these are my favorites. These are the ones I usually wear, whatever I have near me, because I have one here in, the, in my desk, and the other one's in the bathroom. So wherever I'm at doing my makeup, I use whatever. I mean, I don't really have preference, you know? But these are two of my favorite ones. I really like this. Um, it's a corrector, it's a concealer, and then right here it's a Sorry, I had to move around the camera because for some reason the lighting is not working out for me today. And I broke one of my lights, so the light is horrible. But anyways, so I wanted to add these two to my favorites. Um, this one I got it at my 
what is it? I think Walgreens, but I think you get in Walgreens, CVS, um, any drugstores. This one, I actually purchased this at Sears. Um, if they have like a beauty, um, they sell beauty stuff there, like makeup and stuff, then you'll find this at Sears for $4.50. That's how much I got it for. So from there, I'm going to move ahead and I wanted to go um, with my Bitch Love Cosmetics. Um, if you guys all know, I always use this in my videos. It's my corrector from Bitch Love Cosmetics and this one's in special coverage. And this is my all-time favorite. I love this stuff. So you guys know I use this a lot and, you know, it's skin color. I really like it. I mean, if you guys don't have one, you guys must definitely need to get one don't forget to use my code pretty miss grace to get 15% off and yeah so for my next product that from Bishop cosmetics I only have three right now that I mean I wanted to share with you guys I have a lot more but since you guys know that I'm a promoter for that company you guys don't need me to be you know showing you guys all the time but um my favorite lipstick for right now is the one in skin from Bishop cosmetics and this one is a perfect skin color lipstick I love it i love, love 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 this lipstick it's actually the one that i'm wearing now it's really cream sheen i really like it from there i have my baby doll lipstick and this one is a baby pink lipstick i don't know if you guys can see that because the lighting is kind of too bright right now but this is my favorite lipstick i did put swatches of the lipsticks in my instagram so if you guys are not following me on instagram make sure you guys are so you guys can see um my pictures of daily 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 and from there i'm just gonna go with my last um three products another one um you guys you see me use these all the time my nyx jumbo pencils i have the one in black bean and the one in milk these are the ones that i usually use for my waterline i believe well, you can use these as base too, but I usually use those as for my waterline. So, yeah. And then for lastly, I'm using my Scandalous Rimmel London um, mascara. These are my my favorite mascara for now. I mean, I've purchased some, so many mascaras. I have the L'Oreal also that I love. But I think this one kind of beats this one in my taste for me for some reason. If I'm not wearing falsies, I'll wear just this one. But if I'm wearing falsies, I like how this one works for some reason. I don't know. But yeah. So I just wanted to share with you guys this quick little uh, favorites of March. Since we're in a new month. I'm going to try to keep looking at different items and see what I like. What can you guys like. Uh, you know, whatever. What I really want to try is that new foundation. The 5 in 1 foundation. But every time that I go to the store, I cannot find my color. It's always sold out. Somebody's always there taking all the foundations. Leave some foundations for me, people. Just kidding. But anyways, you guys, I love you guys so much. Thanks again for watching and stay tuned for more videos. Love you guys. Bye.